Come and get you. <laughs> so what a stupid Halloween mask? Oh, of course you do, Sarah Lou. You love Halloween. No, I don't. It's for kids. Oh, well, excuse me, Miss Sophisticated. Yeah, I'll put this one on. It'll really suit you. I don't need a Halloween mask. No, oh, you're telling me. You frighten anyone off of that miserable mug. I said a ghost candy, sis. But what's got into you lately? You used to love trick-or-treating. When I was about six. Yeah. I'll just do it for David, eh? Let's not disappoint him. Right. She wants to go to Candice's. Oh, well, let her go to Candice's. Trick-or-treat's nothing but organised begging anyway. Oh, thanks very much, Gail. So me and David have got to walk around on our own, have we? No. Talk, Kevin, you take the girls. Oh, it gets better. Well, better than being on your own. Well, can I go to Candice's? Yes, then? OK, you can go to Candice's. And I want you back at half past nine, no later, all right? Right, Tom. Right. You're still busy, Roy. I understood you'd be closed by now. I was just clearing up. We're bandaging today. Oh, great. Doing something for the community. Well, maybe you'd be interested in joining. No, I think we're busy, actually. Martin's a nurse. Oh, right. Yeah, he works at Weatherfield General. Well, maybe you'd like to stay and judge the bandaging then, Martin. No, 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 we can't, mate. Uh, well, we've got trick-or-treating, that calls, you know. Can't disappoint the kids. <clears throat> Are we right, Gail? I'm coming. All right. Have a great time. Hope you ever will. Oh. Thanks, Gail. Yeah, instructive, I hope. I hope. Right now, into pairs, and I will issue the bandages. 